So I just wanted to show you my setup for doing portraits, as you know, over there in, uh, right there in my weeds room is where I, I do my fairy speak. And I have my three cameras, video cameras set up for uh, my fairy speak video. And if I um, in that nature on video. To my three cameras, the one above, uh, you know, the one a couple, you know, one looking at me and blah, blah, blah. So I've been getting into portrait photography. I've had a few clients come. And I'm supposed to be waiting for one today who is now an hour late. So they're probably a no show, which is the problem with getting cash for uh for the work because if they don't pay up ahead of time for a deposit then they have the opportunity to bail if they so desire uh so this is my setup here i have a um i think this is like a 22 inch as you can see the flash unit is right here and it's a, a canon i think it's 480 I bought these used from B and H uh, Video. Um, they're a, a ten-year-old flash, and um, so this is a modifier, and the grids kind of focus the light onto the area, and it's a modifier. It spreads the light out, kind of like the sun, um, which is good because. It cuts down on the hot spots that can get created. And uh, then I have a larger one. I'm trying to see how I could show you all this stuff uh, because my cam is actually attached uh, to an arm. So. Well, it ain't attached anymore. <laughs> there we go. So, up here, as you can see, is a larger one. I was actually thought I was ordering the same size for my second flash. And uh, this is what I got. Um, but this is better because it gives me a bigger um, coverage of the flash uh, for the area. And it spreads the flash out a little bit more. Now I'm running on TTL, which means that the camera can cut back the flashes for so I have a flash on the floor below the big one, and it's uh, just to fill in like the, the legs of the chair. Now, the next part I have is I'm not sure I don't want to do this. Yeah, we'll, maybe we'll just move this over here. Okay, so the next part I have, of course, is the camera. This is a Canon um, uh, I-70. Canon EOS uh, 7. It asked me this question. It's a T7. The T7 or I has a screen that comes out and moves around. And it has a touch screen. So this little device up here on top is a remote trigger. Now, there's two types of remote triggers. One is this kind that uses a 
radio signal uh, that's sent out or an infrared signal that's sent out to the flash units. And then the other way is a wired set. So you can also have something on here and have a cord. Um, then that also I have here is a USB cable. Uh, this is an actual um, tether brand cable. It has a, a, uh, a capturing thing here to keep it from being pulled out of the camera. And it has a, that's a nice feature to keep it yanked out. Because you know how USB cables are. They fall out when you don't want them to. Underneath the camera is a power pack that I could have two batteries as for a long shoot. So I don't have to swap camera batteries uh, during a shoot, which is kind of good. The interesting thing about how this thing works is, is that they're not hooked up in parallel. Once one battery gets low, it'll switch over to the second battery. So this would might say that my batteries are low. And it won't be both of them. It'll be only one. And the other one's still at a full, full charge. It's just interesting to me, you know, being an electronics dude, you know, off grid guy, I find things about batteries always curious. So right now I have a 22 millimeter lens on it. And that kind of gives me a... Um, a very wide angle for the room. I also have what I call a portrait lens, which is this one. This is actually the one I use a lot for the when I take pictures outside on the back porch. It only goes to to ninety, um, but it's a good portrait lens if you're just going to do. Uh, torso and headshots. If you're going to go for full frame, of course, the distance for me to get back far enough is a, is a problem here. Someday I'll have a, may have a studio outside. It's just a studio and I'll have plenty of room. If I keep getting donations from YouTube. <laughs> I don't know, fat chance of that. So the tethering cable goes into a USB port. I have it going into a USB 3 port, which is uh, going to bring you over here. And uh, I can get this to stay. Stay. Um, so this is a USB cable that moves back and plugs into one of my ports on the back of the computer. Uh, it, it doesn't matter whether it's USB 3 or 2, uh, but I just figured I'll plug it in there. So I have a program running here on the monitor, and it's called uh, uh, Lightroom Classic. And that's included in the package. If you get the, the editor package from Adobe that you have Premiere, uh, ed video editor, and, you know, other things, you can get. Um, and this might actually come with just photography. It's been a while since I'm not sure you'd have to look it up. But they do have a package that's only has the, the Photoshop. And it might have Lightroom Classic. There's a Lightroom, and then there's a Lightroom Classic. And the Lightroom is more for um, the online editing, whereas the Classic has the tethering option. Now, there's another tethering. And if you watch videos of most photographers on YouTube, they're all using Capture One. A premium product and what's nice about programs is that I can for one thing you could take the picture from here control your ASA your uh, 
ISO and your film speed from here on your hard drive. That saves you the time of transferring. But also the clock themselves on the big screen. So instead of just taking the picture and saying, you're, you're, you're beautiful, you're beautiful. Well, you're going to be saying you're beautiful, you're beautiful anyway. You're also going to have the opportunity to um, have them see the pose. So if they want it in a certain way or if you ask them to correct it, they can see it right away. They can see the results right away. So it's kind of cool this way. Just something that, you know, You know, going back and getting involved with photography. You know, you can only take pictures of inanimate objects for so long. And then after a while, it just kind of gets kind of boring, you know. We've got the season changing now. Everything's turning colors. Um, it's really kind of fun to go someplace active and take pictures of and people on surfboards and stuff. So this is a little uh, sideline that I've been working on. I've been limited on, I've been only doing minimum um, at a few clients and they've come out pretty well. And it's unfortunate that this couple didn't show because it would have been uh, a fun shoot. But here it's noontime and they're still not here, so. Um, you know, unless I get a deposit ahead of time, I'm probably not going to, I'm probably going to have this kind of problem. But I just wanted to share you the equipment I'm using. Um, the light stands that I used before for my video, I'm using here for these you know, light stands that you could change the, the couplings on them. The only thing I'd like to do is to get a bigger screen backdrop. And um, this particular backdrop has a um, pocket at the top. Um, I don't know if you can see it. So, as you can see, it's on a uh, curtain rod, and this one is a six foot wide. I really would like to go out to the eight foot, and uh, this has a pocket. It, the pocket, of course, is really nice. Otherwise, you're clamping the top of it to the top, the top to the top, <laughs> and. Uh, so the other thing I did, too, which I don't know if you could see it. I don't know if I can zoom. But at any rate, right down here, let's see. I have this piece of uh, four-inch um, slab that I use for my bar top for the pass-through. But right here, I actually took, like, those metal binder clips and screw them to the to the wood so that I could pull the screen taut which is really nice because um, it's hard to do it otherwise but anyway that's that I just wanted to share my uh, my my um, photo room Maybe some of you out there will be inspired to create your own. <laughs> until then, <laughs> until then, happy picture taking or video or whatever it is that you like to do. End stream.